me to introduce you to a very famous French artist named Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse was famous for his paintings, which are very colorful and very beautiful. As you can see here in the painting of the cat with red fishes, he used shape and color in his paintings. Shape is an element of art and it's what we're highlighting this week. And it's what happens when a line connects. Shapes are also two dimensional and very flat. As you can see in Matisse's painting, that they, um, the shapes are very flat. They don't have a lot of value or form to them. He was most famous for his paintings, but he also did other works later in life. He got very sick and he was no longer able to paint. He was um, had to be in a wheelchair. And so he discovered some other types of ways to make art. And one of those ways was by uh, using cut paper. So he discovered that he could cut paper and it was almost like he was painting or drawing with paper, scissors. What he did is he cut the paper and then turned it into a collage. And that's on today. Shapes come in a variety of different ways. Um, they are Geometric, some of them are geometric, which are squares and rectangles and circles and triangles. I'm sure you are familiar with geometric shapes. Henri Matisse used some geometric shapes in his work, but he also used something called organic shapes. Organic shapes are these very free flowy and loose with round edges, very soft edges. And that's what we're today is making organic shapes. Henri Matisse's shapes look like plants or um, things that you would find in nature. And actually he would say that they were his gardens because he was inside most of the time. He would bring nature inside so that he could um, see it. And so now here are some of his collages that use both geometric shapes and organic shapes. The geometric shapes are in the background. The organic shapes are in the foreground. Again, the squares and rectangles in the background and the flowy organic shapes are in the foreground. This is what we're going to be creating today. We're going to be creating a cut paper collage, just like Henri Matisse. This one was done by my third grader named Joshua. And I'm going to take you through the steps today to create something just like this. You will need today, you're going to need paper, white paper, and also pieces of color paper. If you don't have color paper, no problem. Just use white paper and cut out your shapes and then color with crayons or markers or colored pencils before you glue them onto your collage. You're also going to need a pencil and glue either liquid glue or a glue stick and scissors. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have my paper. This is going to be my base for my collage. And I have colored pieces of paper that we're going to attach onto the collage. What we're going to do first is start with cutting some squares and rectangles for the background. To do that, you just kind of cut a wide strip. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cut a wide strip of colored paper. And then all you have to do is cut up like this to make some squares and rectangles. Okay, I did some in blue. I think I might do some out of orange. So again, I'm going to make a strip along the whole length of it. And then I'll turn it and I'll go cut up this way to make some squares and rectangles. And maybe one more color, maybe red. Again, if you don't have colored paper, it is totally fine. Just cut out all your shapes out of white paper and then you can color them before you glue them down on your collage. Okay, so I have uh, my pieces of colored paper for the background. I'm going to set those aside. And then I'm going to get um, a pencil 
And some other pieces of paper. For this one, I might use yellow. That would be a really fun contrasting color on top. And here's where I'm going to make my organic shapes. Just like on Rima Matisse with the curvy lines and the really flowy edges. I'm going to make a couple out of yellow. I think I might want a couple out of black. So I'm just going to draw them on first and then I'll cut them all out at the same time. So just really curvy, almost like plants or leaves. And maybe one more color, uh, maybe green. And I'll do a few more curvy shapes. Um, if you are using white paper, then you just do the same thing with your white paper. Make your curvy organic shapes. Cut them out and then color them before we attach them with glue. All right, so I'm going to work on that, cutting all those out, and then uh, we'll put them all together. Okay, I have all my shapes cut out, and it's time to start arranging them on the paper. So I'm going to use the geometric shapes, the squares and the rectangles for the background, which means behind. Um, and I'm just going to lay them out kind of in a grid. However I think it might look good, you can overlap some of them. Okay, maybe something like that to lay them out in the background. Then I'm gonna take my organic shapes and the part that has the pencil lines I'm gonna put on the bottom and I'll flip them over and just kinda of put them out, see where I might want them. Henri Matisse would move his shapes around and play with the colors and see what would look better in different spots. So just play with it. Move them around. If you don't like where it goes, then you can fix it and you can change it. I don't know that I like that one there, so I might take it off. These are the ones that I colored with crayon, and if you see, they look just fine. So if you don't have colored paper and you are using other things to color white paper, it is totally a great option. Okay, I think I kind of like that, just like that. And so then I'm going to start gluing. I'm going to use my... Um, Elmer's glue stick, but if you have liquid glue, you can use that as well. And in fact, I, I have to do the background first, so I'm going to lay that one aside. And I'm going to do the, sh the squares and rectangles first, get them glued down. And once those are glued down, then I can glue the organic shapes on top. So let me work on that and you work on yours. All right, we are finished with our Henri Matisse cut paper collage. It's all glued down. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.